hi guys welcome back to another video so we are on to our final eyeshadow declutter this is everything that i felt like was remaining so let's jump right into it the first one is who is this from Santa. oh this is magic by the magic collection and it was $3.99 at my beauty supply store and you can focus the day now And as you can see, it's nice um, fall-like colors. I tell y'all all the time, the beauty supply store makes a really good colors. Here's the marble. This puts you in the mind of like a Huda Beauty palette because you know they're good for putting that marble shade. It actually has two marble shades. So yeah, we're going to keep that one. Uh, I ain't going to dump it out because knowing me, I'll probably get some something on my carpet. <laughs> So the next thing, next two things are Color Fix eyeshadows from uh, Danessa Myrick. I fell in love with these probably last year sometime. One is in the shade Primary Yellow and the other shade is Chocolate. At first I started off just using them to like base my eyelids for, for eyeshadow. But then I realized that hey, on their own, they are beautiful on their own and I got these from Sephora I think it's like $20 or $27 but these are the shades of course y'all know I was going to get a brown shade so I'm going to swatch these right quick for y'all so y'all can see I haven't used them in a while I know I had someone ask me a while ago if I felt like they dried out they don't dry out on me The chocolate is so pretty. And I think you can use this for like blush, lip liner, eyeliner. Like you, or it says lip, cheeks, and eye color. So you can use it for either or. So this is the two colors. And as you can see, you see that brown? Very pigmented. And that yellow on my skin tone pops. So sticking to liquid shadows i got these two face hot chocolate matte eyeshadows and these are probably like two years old two years old so one is in the shade chocolate chai amaretto and chocolate wine i'm gonna move this bag because i think the camera trying to focus on the bag y'all so that ah, shucks do you guys use liquid eyeshadows I know I do. Well, when I think about using them, they work, especially if you're like new to eyeshadow and you don't really know about crease and transition shade and all that. So this first shade right here is Amaretto. I'm going to swatch it. You see, that's how it looks. And a wand, push it in the mind of a concealer. Pretty new shade, something different other than what I'm used to. Chocolate ch chai. I thought that was like a really, really pretty for the fall time. Like a really pretty fall color. That orange is kind of like a burnt orange. And the last shade is chocolate wine. Y'all know I always got to get some chocolate. And this is more berry than chocolate to me. Is more buried in chocolate. Me and this camera gonna have it out today. But you see it? And imagine just putting that on your lid and nothing else. Those liquid eyeshadows. Can't go wrong. This right here is a J Cat and it was supposed to be like a concealer. I don't know how this ended up in the collection, y'all, but uh, like a, I guess, a face palette. Can't say I really played with it. I play with it a little bit, but I need to revisit this. Remember a lot of brands used to make palettes like these, and then all of a sudden it just stopped. Another Magic Collection. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all the name of the first one. So the first one is Leopard. The first one I showed you is called Leopard. And then this one is called Giraffe. Yeah, I know I like to be on a safari. And this is definitely Screaming Fall right here. 
love it my cup of tea the next one is ColourPop sweet chaps what is this cheek palette oh this is a blush oh my, i haven't seen this in forever what were you so yeah this is how it looks the brown is amazing all the colors on this is amazing if you're looking for a blush and you're unsure and you really want something to stick to your brown skin like try color pop this is beautiful i don't know how i got in there but yeah you know. the next one i recently picked this up not recently when i say recently i mean like some months or something a lori three from Juvia's Place. I don't think I ever used it. Nope, I never used it. <laughs> I need to put this on my desk so I can use it. I can see Crete, I mean, out of the lid. Out of the lid. I don't know what to do with that. Did I show y'all this already? I don't know. Do I have two? This right here is the Elf Cookies and Dream, which I know I love the primer. Did not care for this at all. It was patchy. It didn't really show up. The colors are beautiful. You would think, because you know Elf makes a really good shadows. Let me swatch this blue. <gasps> Did I try the blue? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I was doing it wrong. Let's see. Let me try the navy blue. You know, a lot of people. Oh, that's not navy blue. That's black. Oh, the black is pink me too, too y'all. Hmm. Let me not talk too fast about the palette. Let me hold on just a little while longer. Remember, I said I didn't have any eyeshadows from NARS. Well, this is the one shadow I do have from NARS, and it's called Coconut Grove. It's just a very small, tiny <laughs> thing. <laughs> and I thought y'all know because I love a good brown, but this is more cool tone than I like. Yeah, that's why I never see it's like more grayish like i don't like i like a warm brown so i wasn't a fan of that i gotta be careful with this this is my Juvia's face the horror one this is my very first blush if y'all can tell me how to depot because i need to depot this because you see that top shade broke and i just want to take the other ones out and put it like on one of my little magnetic palette things i could just get rid of this so it won't be i won't make a mess but this pink I love a pink blush. Oh, y'all see that? I want it to focus. Oh, this is a beautiful pink blush. Beautiful. I love a pink blush. Okay, next up, another Juvia's, the Nubian Earth, which I know it came out sometime this year. I got the... Um, the lipsticks, lip gloss, and the eyeshadow palette. This is another one that I started off really good using and then kind of like just faded away. But hmm, what do I I'm going to give it another go. I just feel like I have these shadows already. The Juvia's Face, the Moths palette. Beautiful, beautiful and different, beautiful and different. Yes, oh, that's a pretty, I don't think I ever used that one. I never used that one. Beautiful. Next up, well, we don't have a lot today, y'all. We good. We out of here after this. Okay, the next one is this Black Radiance Brilliant Effects that I picked up from Walmart for like $7.98. And the colors in here are beautiful, as you can see. Do I think they were as pigmented as they look in this pan? I don't know. Let's swatch the lime green shade. 
Yes, they are. Wait a minute. What was I doing? I tell y'all, I don't be knowing what I be doing. When I be like, oh, it's not pigmented. And then I come back to y'all and I'm like, oh, it is pigmented. Okay. So those are the shades. That purple, that blue, and that pink right there. Hmm. I must have to revisit that one. I gotta try that again. Okay. The NYX Ultimate Edit Palette. NYX used to make really good eyeshadows. I don't know what happened. I feel like it's not. These two are the foil. I'm not a foil girl. I'm realizing that. I always say, ooh. Look at that purple. Hold on. I don't want to focus. Hold on, y'all. Oh, that's probably why I brought it because of the purple. The eggplant purple. Okay. Next up, we don't have a lot at all. Okay. Next up um, from ColourPop is some of their Super Shock shadows. I don't know where the other one is. I'm quite sure I had. I don't know where it is. But it came in two, two things. It came in here. I don't know where the other one is. The shade I got in my hand is called Gin Ricky. And it's a, this reminds me of like gold and silver. Their super shots are beautiful. Look at there. With no work. No work needed. Light. I think that just gives you a little dust of color. Not a lot. Now it's going to bother me because I don't know where the other one is. Uh, color pop, trouble, brawling. I guess this was a Halloween collection from Color Pop. What is this? Oh, the Super Shop Shadows. So we got a purple shade, a kind of gold shade and a yellow shade. Let's watch the purple. Mm, this feels so soft. This is almost similar to, where did I get that other purple from? I don't know, but this is similar. It's right here. My camera right there. Nice soft touch of color. <laughs> Next one is another Magic Collection palette. Rainbow Bubble Beauty Supply Store. I wonder, this is one of the ones I wonder if you wet it, does it like, can you use it as eyeliner, like a liquid activated eyeliner? I wonder if you can do that. This one, cause it's not, I don't think it's as pigmented. See, it's kind of right there. It's not really that pigmented to me. And last but not least guys, is this Gimme Glow um, eyeshadows. I brought a lot of the single ones, thinking I was gonna put it in my little uh, tray. Oh, what is this? It's a blush from ColourPop. Pop. 
caught it. Let's see what color it is. Oh, pretty. Like a mauve. Y'all know my normal thing. But somebody who don't like blush, I keep buying it. Like a nut. Okay. So, I'll just show y'all these loose shadow. Give Me Glow is, I guess, a little... Oh, that's pretty, too. This is... I gotta be careful. This is a bra. I just wanna show y'all how big the trays are. Y'all see how big that pan is? And it was $7. That was called... I don't know. Did they not have names? Or is that just me? I don't think they have names. So I'll just show y'all the colors I got. But I don't think they got names. Yeah, they're really good. I haven't ordered them for them from them in a while. But the ones I do have are really, really pigmented. I don't know why I got this color. It's like a mint green. Y'all yeah, know I'm obsessed with this type of Lucky Charms green. Let's watch that one. Let's see. Oh, yes. That's why. I ain't got a room. That is why. Oh, my goodness. Look at that green. That lime green. This is a white gray. Don't know why I got that one. <laughs> oh, this was my fault. I need to put this on my desk. We're getting ready to fall. I brought this for fall all over this shade, transition shade. We're going to use it. I'm going to do a look with this this week. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness, yes. What? I had this all the time. Y'all see it right there? Look at that. That would be perfect. All over lid shade, some lashes, transition shade. I'm going to put this on my desk right now. Shucks. Sorry. I forgot about it. Okay. And the very last shade looks to be like another dark green shade. I must be was obsessed with them shades. Dark green shade. I was in a green moment. Olive. It's like an olive. I ain't got no more room. And it's packed to the top too, guys, if you were wondering. But that's the green shade, as you can see. Pigment. Pigment, pigment, pigment all on my arm. I think I'm satisfied with all of these today. Hmm, I'm satisfied. Okay, guys, so if you have made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate you all watching all of uh, my declutters. <laughs> it gave me the energy to finish it. Since I told you all that I would do it, it gave me the energy to finish it. So for two of my lucky subscribers, being as though I just donated this stuff, I'm going to give a $25 um, Ulta gift card. So it'll be two subscribers that win $25 Ulta gift card. You have to be subscribed to my channel, watch and like this video. And let's see what I want y'all to comment. Comment below what is your favorite eyeshadow palette. Hands down, the one that you're going to pick up any day of the week for any occasion. Comment down below and let me know.
and we will pick the winner sometime next week but yeah $25 Ulta gift card and that's just my thanks to you guys for all of the support and until next time make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you later bye guys